Hey guys, it's Scott here and welcome to episode zero of my road to glory. This is the introductory episode basically where I'm going to tell you everything about the series and also show you my initial web app startup for my road to glory team for this FIFA Ultimate Team. So hopefully a hype for this series. We're going to be running through this throughout the entire year of FIFA 20. So if you want to see more, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. It's going to be a good one. We've done a road to glory every year since basically I've started doing YouTube. So this year we're going to go even bigger and better than ever before. Now that I'm doing full-time YouTube streaming and videos, we have so much more time that we can put into the series and so much more effort to try and get as good as I possibly can at the game to then try and earn better rewards, to get a better team and everything like that. So there aren't really any rules this year. Normally with the Road to Glory, I set a specific target. So I want to get the full team of the year. I want to get a team from each nation. I want to get the top 10 players from each league in the game, something like that. This year, I think because I'm going to have so much more time, I just want to set myself to try and get as good a team as possible, to get as good at the game as possible. My only real targets are to get a, a god tier team, a god squad, and also I want to push Elite 1 slash Top 100 this year for my Road to Glory. So we're going to start things off with the web app and then EA Access is going to come out later today as you're watching this video when it's released probably at about 1pm, something like that. EA Access should be coming out tonight and so I will be streaming that and we can finally start playing games and everything like that and start earning coins to build up our squad. But this is just my starter packs, my returning user packs on the web app and then a tiny bit of trading on there as well. So hopefully you enjoy it and I will see you later tonight for the episode one where we're going to be playing games as part of our new Road to Glory for FIFA 20. It's going to be a good year. Hopefully you can be a part of all of it. Let's get into it. This is it. This is episode zero of The Road to Glory. If the web app stays up, it has finally just gone live. It's just hit six o'clock uh, on the 18th of September. Welcome back. Let's start your ultimate team by setting up your initial squad. Now, first thing is that this is probably going to crash, but we'll see. Okay, let's get started. Choose your starter pack. Now, I'm most likely going to go for Bundesliga slash Syria for my two starter teams. So I think it makes the most sense to go for either Germany or Italy. Now, I'm probably going to go for more German players in a Bundesliga team than I am for Italians in an Italian league team. So we're going to go with Germany to choose our starter pack. Now, what are we going to get? Look at this. Is that Tarod? It is! I feel like I had him in my starter team last year. Uh, we also have a centre-back out at left-back for some reason. Heinz. Um, who have we got in our subs? It, it, mm. Right. Swap with a higher rated... Oh, right, yeah, right. So, in terms of a lone player, you always want to go with a striker, right? Now... It's probably going to give us Lewandowski here, most likely, as one of the options. So we're going to swap striker, and Lewandowski is going to fit into our team perfectly, right? If we're going Bundesliga to start things off. So Lewandowski slots in there. Uh, um, so, foot 20, club complete, start ultimate team. Man, it's here! The road to glory is underway, man. I'm so excited. As a thank you for playing Foot19 last year, we've added these items to your club. A Team of the Week home kit. Uh, a Team of the Week away kit. Four all-players packs. So people were wondering what the returning packs were going to be. Um, so four all-player packs, two gold packs, and a lone player reward pack. And a coin boost, 1,000 coins for 15 matches. That's pretty big. Once EA Access drops, hopefully tonight. If not, then maybe tomorrow. That's... Huge. That's 15,000 coins guaranteed right there. EA Access is actually currently struggling. It says, whoops, looks like we've hit a snag when you try and load it up. So all we can do right now is the web app. So let's go to our store. We've got a silver reward pack to start things off. And we get this guy from the Dutch League. Now, we're obviously hoping for any... Um, any... 
thingy-ma-bob, bob, bob da boop boop boo Bundesliga players would be amazing right here. Loan player reward pack. So this gets you Van Dyke on loan. I think that said it gets you... Oh, so it gets you the three cover stars on loan for seven games. So Sancho is perfect. Absolutely perfect. If we quickly go back to our squad, we can whack him in on the right... Oh, we did actually have reserves. Oh, we got a gold. Nice. So two gold packs. We're going to get ourselves Caldara. Now, my plan is to have a Syria team and a Bundesliga team. So that's actually really good. It saves us from having to buy another player. We get uh, 1,000 coins. Perfect. That is like one of the best consumables you can get at the very start of the year. That is amazing. Hopefully my pack look continues to be that lucky throughout the entire year. Next gold pack is... Westwood. Doesn't really help us out. Are there any other players that do? We get Harvey Barnes! We get a Leicester player on our starter packs. Nice. That's cool just for sentimental value. Um, unfortunately no coins in that one, but okay. Next up, we got four all players packs. First one, Caceres. This is a solid starter card. When I did my starter squads, we actually get two players in here that also link into a Serie A team. This is great. When I was doing my starter squads for Serie A, Caceres was one of the players that I had in there. So, amazing. Really, really, really good. Um, these guys don't look like they're from the Bundesliga or Serie A down here, so they're probably not going to be of too much use. But we've still got three more of these. So, if we get anything. Diaz doesn't really help us out. Could be a decent super sub to start off the year. These are the guys from the Spanish League and Mexican League don't really help either. Doesn't really look... Uh, we get a Prem player, but not the biggest help in the world. And then our last... Wait. Okay, we got two more. I thought I only had one more. Maksinovic, another player to whack into that Serie A squad. Sick. Kiko Casilla. The others don't really help too much, it doesn't look like. But again, another player that fits. This is great. And then we can sell the ones that don't fit on the market to just get some coins and start getting up our squad. Last all-players pack is going to give us Jimenez. We bag an 85-rated in our starter packs. Now, there's only two on the market right now. It's tempting to just try and sell him for max value. Or like 9k. If we now switch out like this guy. For any Bundesliga players that we just got. Down here, Bundesliga German 1. Then we can whack Alario in there. And he may be better than Telrod up front. And then we have a super sub. Uh, that is actually a gold player from our league, which is great. Okay. And then, if we go here and we make a second squad for the Serie A, then we can fill this up with any Serie A players that we just managed to get. So if we change that league down to Serie A TIM, then we can do that. We can do... Well, okay, that's fine. We'll do it this way. Uh, and we can just whack all of these guys in and see how close to a starting level we can get. Um, not very, but we've got like half a team here. So if we whack these guys in, it doesn't really matter if at the very beginning you're using like a centre back at left back, it's fine. Again, a centre mid at left mid, for example, is also okay. Um, so we would only need to buy four players from the Serie A to get a full team. And the Bundesliga, we would only need to buy how many? One, two, well, two, really, uh, to get a full squad. So things are looking good at the start. So next up, SBCs, I guess. We might also be able to see objectives. Um, so we can now see the season progress milestones and season objectives, everything that we're going to be able to do in FIFA 20, right? So season progress, if you don't understand how it works, you basically earn XP by doing things. So playing games and stuff like that. 
So level one, 300 XP needed to get to level one. Uh, you can get yourself a lone version of each of uh, one of those players, right? You get a player pick. You get to level two by getting 1,100 XP. Uh, I don't know if that's a coin boost, I assume. You get a pack if you get to level three. You get the idea. Now, I can't... Oh, no, I can scroll to the right. So... Again, you're getting better and better at packs the more XP you get. You get all the way to level 30, you need 100,000 XP. We don't know how hard that's going to be to get. We have no idea. But the options are going to be an 85 Zahar, an 85 Taliso, or an 85 Lucas Vasquez. Taliso may be what I end up going for, because if I'm going to go Bundesliga and Syria, then depending on how long it takes for me to get to level 30 in the 100,000 XP, Taliso could be perfect for my team. So, you can earn XP by completing these other things. So if we go to Milestones, what do we got here? Champion, show everyone you have what it takes to be the Golden Goats. All rewards are untradeable. So, win 300 Foot Champs games. You get one Ultimate Pack. And you get your Goat thing, right? The Tifo. Beat your rivals to prove you are the GOAT. All rewards are untradeable. So this is... Whoops. So this is... Win 300 rivals matches and you get that. And then this is what? Keep battling over the year to prove you are the battle master. All rewards are untradeable. Squad battles win 300 squad battles. Minimum difficulty semi-pro. And you get a TIFO. You get pack rewards, etc, etc. Okay? Season objectives... Now, this is how we start earning XP. Earn XP by playing the market. Um, oh, wow. List 10 players on the transfer market. You get 375 XP. So if I get that 375 XP, then I will be on my way to getting to level 2, right? Or I will get to level 1, and I will unlock this loan option for Van Dyke or whoever I choose. Okay. Uh, there are other ones, so daily objectives. Complete all the dailies to earn XP. You get 60 XP if you complete all of them, and then each individual one. Win one match, 180. Play two matches. Buy any player using Buy It Now gets you 180 XP. And again, that then levels you up. So if you are grinding the game, doing all the objectives, all of the stuff like that, then you will be leveling up and you will be getting yourself closer to this Zaha or whatever. What ones have we got here? La Liga Prime Players Pack, Bundesliga, Premier League Prime Players Pack, untradeable. So you've got some nice rewards that you can get here uh, just by simply leveling up. Here, I'm guessing this is different TIFOs. Yep, so you can have these when you start a game. Uh, badges, etc, etc. So, other season objectives that we've got. Play online, level up for playing rivals. Scoring 60 rivals matches. So this has 50 days remaining. You can see underneath here. You've obviously got your daily objectives. There don't appear to be any weekly objectives. Uh, and then all of these have got 50 days left. So I assume 50 days is the end of the first season, right? And so you have 50 days, 23 hours to get to level 30. If you don't, it moves on to season two. Right, SBCs, what have we got available to us? Let's get started. First exchange. Sorted. So we submit that one, claim our rewards, and then we get a two players pack for completing the whole of the let's get started thing. Now we get all of these opened up for us. So we can do upgrade packs and stuff like that. We can start to do hybrid leagues and nations. Obviously, they're going to take a little while for me to get my club up to the point where I can do that. But we are, we are now in a position where we can start working towards it. So... Let's start things off by going from worst to best and just see if we get anything that helps us. So Syria or Bundesliga is what we're looking for. Really. Uh, and that would be great. Bronze player pack could be even slightly helpful. Even if it's like a left back from the thingy league, that would be good. That doesn't really help us out. Bronze player pack gets us. Oh, now he's German. He he doesn't look great. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. Doesn't look amazing. 
However, oh god, he's from the third league, so he's not going to link to Sancho. There's a chance that he can potentially get better chemistry than what we already have in our squad. So if we quickly have a look at him, he will get a German link, so it's, it's better. Wait, was he a right wing back? Wait, hello? Oh. Kidding me. Uh, defenders. So, where is he? Where's our rare dude? Here. So it does bump up our chemistry a little bit. Assuming that doesn't... Oh, that does actually help out. We need a left back still. And then we have a starting 11. That isn't great, but at least it's... It's still okay. Uh, E-access, for those that are wondering, is still not working. <laughs> okay. Still not working. Right, two-player pack. Now, this could go huge for us. It probably won't, let's be real. No, it's not incredible. However, he does help us. Tom Lawrence doesn't really help, um, but another Cologne player especially if we switch to a formation with CDM in, is good. Uh, obviously, any Bundesliga players for me right now are very, very good. It does not look like Jimenez is going to sell, does it? But that's fine. We could do... Um, exchange bombs players for gold player picks to improve your starter squad. Here we go. Redeem player pick item. So, Uth... Uh, we've got to think about this, aren't we? So we've already got... Well, Le when Lewandowski runs out, we will need someone from there. However, we already have Alario on the left. We can bring Terod in from off of the bench. So I think it makes more sense to go with Zaza for the Italian league because we don't have... I don't think we have a gold striker from that league. So Zaza makes a lot of sense to take for me there. Center mid. <clears throat> now we get Dahoud, who is pretty good. Benton Kerr, though. Um. Oh, that's what I wanted to check. So, Zaza has four-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. Dahoud has double four-star. So does Benton Kerr. Now, I feel like I had, like, three or four center mids from the Bundesliga. I wish I could actually get... Oh, I can. Oh, it's gone. I don't know where that's gone. <laughs> Maybe it's in my unassigned. I don't know. Let's store him in the club. Maybe my sentiments just disappeared now. Oh, right, okay, it's there. So you have player picks items pending selection. So I can go back to my squad and I can look at this. So I've got two sentiments in that squad. What about in my other one? Syria. We already have two gold center mids. So it actually makes more sense to take the hood. So let's do that. Double four star. Hopefully he's going to be good for us. So we'll store him in the club. Now we've got a center back. And Masiello is the only one that fits. He's not good. He's really not good. Oh no, wait, he's from the Bundesliga. Right? Unless they got relegated, isn't it? Okay. So, we could do with him. We could definitely do with that guy. So, where's he gone? Well, confirm. Get in the club, my friend. Store all, and then goalkeeper. Come on, you gotta give me one. Parnesis. Okay. Where is that guy from? Oh, he is from the German League. It's a shame you can't see, like, the heights on here. Um, what have I currently got in each team? This one's got a 60 rated. Yikes. Syria, did we even get one? We didn't. I'm going to take Carnesis so that I have that in my club. 
So let's very quickly now go back to our Bundesliga squad, swap player, attackers, no, just anything from the Bundesliga. Uh, and we can now put in you, you, and you. So Dehoud goes in here. We have now got a centre back that for now could actually go at left back. I guess. And then if we whack you in there and switch those two round, we're up to 99 chemistry in our Bundesliga team already. If we then go to Syria and open up this, um, then. We can go down to the subs and we can go to Dili A. DIM. We can put in Zaha, uh, Zaza and Karnesis. So we have a goalkeeper. Oh, we did actually. So we got two. So our squads so far, just from doing the initial SBCs, are actually looking okay, to be fair. Not too shabby. At this point, we've gone and discarded a load of stuff from our club which I didn't realize I actually had that was tradable, the gold players. And then we've sold the ones that actually sell. So we still have Westwood that's going to sell for 400 coins as well. So you can see up here, we're at nearly 8,000 coins. Once Westwood sells, we will be over 8K. And this now allows me, obviously we have our teams that we had before in this uh, Bundesliga one. And then our Serie A team which isn't complete yet, it allows me to potentially put a little bit of money into those, but also at the same time, I can now trade with slightly more expensive players. So like 5k players, like, I don't know, uh, Joe Gomez mm -hmm. at this point is about 5k. Well, there's one there for 5k. Um, so I could try and trade with him, right? I could try and sell for... But I could try and buy for like 4k or something like that and then sell him for five. So we now have that as an option and that's what we're going to do and try and progress and push our club even further. So those are some of the highlights from what I started off doing on the web app last night when it released. Obviously, as I said at the start of the video, EA Access is coming out tonight so we can actually start to progress our club even more because trading and stuff on the web app is very difficult right now because there just aren't that many cards. But once EA Access drops, loads of people are going to be opening packs. There's going to be a lot of stuff on the market. We can play games and we will start to make a lot more progress a lot more quickly. So hopefully that's going to be a lot of fun today, but we did the SBCs, we got a starter squad, we've got a Bundesliga and Serie A team, we're going to try and progress those, I will be trading on the web app before I start streaming today, so maybe there'll be a little bit of progress when you tune into the stream, but that is it for the introductory episode of The Road to Glory, hopefully you enjoyed it, and again, hopefully you're hyped for this series, it's going to be sick. I will see you later for the first stream, see you then, goodbye.